Welcome back to another GeekerWatt video and today I'm going to be reviewing these pretty special headphones from a company called One More. They're actually a brand with a pretty unique backstory, founded to rival the likes of Apple's Beats and actually part owned by Chinese giant Xiaomi. Do their H1707s live up to their pretty hefty price tag? Taking a quick look around first and foremost, they certainly tick the premium build quality box with full metal construction on each of the drivers and a light, flexible and quite durable uh, headband up top. You also have ear cups that are marketed as over ear, but for me sit more of a hybrid between on and over ear designs, which make these super duper comfortable over long periods of time. The headphones also fold up nice and easily for travel, as you can see here, and come included with a superb hard travel case. The headphones come in one of two colours. I've got the silver slash space grey, I'm going to call it, version here, but you can also get them in gold, which look equally superb. Uh, what's perhaps more standout though than the colours here is the triple driver design of these headphones. What that essentially means is that you have separate drivers for the different frequency ranges. Uh, that means they can be optimised, specifically designed uh, to actually give out those frequency ranges rather than trying to cover the whole spectrum. It stops the bass from distorting any mids or particular uh, areas in the treble and it really adds some great spatiality to the sound. Some songs on this come alive and are really, really precise. There are, however, some trade-offs to note with smaller drivers, though. Normally, you end up lacking a little bit in the power and punch of the bass, but that wasn't the issue for me here. It was actually the mid-tones. I found that the mids just lacked in some songs, and it's a bit disappointing. Apart from that, though, that really is nitpicking, and the sound overall is of fantastic quality. While we're on the subjects of criticisms, I do have just a couple more. The inclusion of just one cable is stingy to say the least, and the fact you have to plug in to both ear cups, to both drivers, is a little bit clumsy if I'm being completely honest. The inclusion of a longer cable with some form of inline controls would definitely be an appreciated feature. These headphones also lack any Bluetooth connectivity, which I can understand given their really small compact and lightweight form factor, but it leaves me a little bit confused. Uh, by lacking such a consumer-centric feature, and one that you'll find on uh, these headphones' main competitors, I don't know, I'm just of mixed minds in my opinion. With that being said, what these headphones need to do well, they do incredibly well. They sound fantastic, the triple driver design works well, and the actual aesthetic, the way these things look, is in my opinion superb. They look expensive without screaming, look at me, I'm some fancy pair of headphones. Overall, would I recommend these if you're looking for a really nice set of headphones, 100%, and I'll link them in the description below for different regions and retailers if you'd like to pick them up. I just think there's a few niggles that let these things down and leave them a tiny bit confused. If you enjoyed today's video though, smash that like button, subscribe, hit me up on the social media, uh, things on the bottom of your screen, and as always, we'll see you in the next Geeky Watt video.